Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and what I got today is another collectible, because I think we're on the third week of collectibles, and it's never going to stop, because I've got more than I need, and I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, the third collectible I have in this whole little series of collectibles is a collectible that was thrown at me by another fellow YouTuber, and I sent him a message like, why you want to make me spend some money, man? Why do you make me spend money? But the good thing is it's not bad. It's not bad money. Like, like 14, 8, 15, 16 bucks. I can't remember exactly. I'll look it up and I'll leave a link to it down below at the cheapest price that I can find it. But I want to say it was like between 14 and 18 dollars or something like that for it. I've had it here for a little bit. And it's just been eating at me because it's been in the box. So I want to do this one now so I can get it out and display. But lo and behold, Hayakadak! Atom Bomb. Garbage Pail Kids. Huge. A figure it's huge man it looks awesome I don't know if you can see this it's almost life-size not really but I guess if it was a baby it'd be almost life-size right but the cool thing about garbage pail kids right now is Funko is taking this thing over so you're gonna see a lot of these probably start rolling out which is cool because I like the bigger size ones myself I'm gonna collect them go bigger go home baby Alright, so let's open up this thing. It's good thick cardboard, which is a plus. Nice molded plastic in the top for his little noodle. And pretty much, just like it all, just he just comes right on out. It does look nice. There's no uh, immediate paint defects that I can tell. His head does kind of swivel a little bit. But that's it. So set him down here and see that the little controller's in the box. And it is, because, you know, you gotta set the bomb off. Beep. And that's really it. Uh, good little showcase box. A little classic look to it, because I remember, well, I guess you see them now on, like, dolls or whatever. I mean... Uh, collectible figurines. It's kind of like that little plastic that kind of, I don't know. I don't know why that's so nostalgic. Nostalgic. Anyway. So his hand does move. And I think you can get the remote in there if I tried. I don't know. Okay, so I barely put the corner of the remote in his hand. If it stays like that, I think that looks the best. Because I kind of want to display it kind of as an individual piece. And I have like the little remote sitting to the side. For some reason, I like it to be all up encased in it. But I do like the layers of this. You know, for the first large one to roll out, I think uh, this one's pretty pretty sweet. And I do believe it's nine inches tall. I think. Let me measure. I think it's layered out here. You got this final layer, this one, and then this one that sits down in between, and then the puff of cloud on top. So you got one layer application. You got one sitting on one. Let's see, one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, making five pieces here, making this whole thing up to the head point. Then you got the body and the arms and the controller. So what is it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces to this whole thing, kind of smooshed and glued together, I guess. But it looks pretty cool. The eyes look good, and there's no... Well, there's not much paint bleeding. Some of the white kind of bleeds over into the skin on the eyes. Ah, the head does swivel. The arms raise and lower. Got Funko, Funko.com, made in Vietnam, which is cool on the bottom. I'm glad it doesn't say China. And there is a difference. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. But, oh, dropped the damn remote. But, yeah, I mean... I think this is a cool buy. And, and some people may be like, how old are you, man? How old are you? I'm old enough to freaking enjoy Garbage Pail Kids. Just like the other kids of the 80s. And there's also a documentary coming out on Garbage Pail Kids. So make sure to uh, IMDB that. I'm not, I don't remember the, the exact title of the documentary, but it looks freaking awesome. So look up documentary films on Garbage Pail Kids, find that, and then wait on it and watch it when it comes out. I don't know if it's one of those crowdfunded thing projects or if it's just one of those things waiting to come out or not. But yeah, you know, I'm totally happy with Atom Bomb. Thanks 
Oh, you too, buddy, old pally, old mine, for making me spend some money. Appreciate that. And his link to his channel is below. Uh, great channel. Johnny does a good job. Go down through there. Subscribe to that guy. Uh, I think he deserves it. Does it great. Anyway, Adam Bomb, that's it. So enjoy some close-ups, and we'll see you next week for another collectible. And, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs>